Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Vibrant Soul Tarot and I'm super excited to have you here today. In today's Pick a Card reading, we are going to be asking, should you tell them, the person on your mind, how you feel? So should you confess your feelings to this person? So I quickly just want to break down what this reading is going to entail. So first things first, I kind of want to see a little bit on like how they're feeling towards you first. Then second, we're going to look and see how they would react if you do tell them your feelings. And the main reason why I wanna do this is because a lot of the time when we are wanting to tell someone how we feel, the two things that are literally holding us back is because we don't know how they feel and we don't know how they would react. So I thought we would kind of look in that, into that together and uh, see what it's gonna be. And then based off that information, you can make your own choice if you would like to tell them or not. And of course, I'm probably gonna put my two cents into because you know, it's me. It wouldn't be me if I didn't. But yeah, so if that sounds like something you are interested in, then welcome and this is the reading for you. So let's go ahead and get into the pile selection. We have these three piles to choose from. Pile number one, starting right here, we have the crybaby tarot along with this amethyst heart. For pile number two, we have the New Moon Tarot along with this Amazonite Heart. And then for pile number three, we have the Third Eye Tarot along with this Agate Heart. So if you do need more time, you're more than welcome to pause the video here. Um, take as much time as you need in choosing your pile. When you do have your pile selected, I will post the timestamps for each one in the description box below for your convenience. So you can just head on down there, click on the time, and I will see you directly at your reading. And I can't wait to see you there. Bye. Hi, pile one, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Amethyst Heart, or if you chose the Crybaby Tarot, then welcome. These are your messages. So if you missed the intro, I'm just going to quickly explain what we're going to be doing here. First things first, we're going to be looking into a little bit on how they're feeling at this current time that you are coming across this about you. And then we are going to be looking into how they are going to react or how would they most likely react based on their current energy. Again, if you were to confess or tell them how you feel. So I'm going to ask spirit here to please tune me into my pile one situation as well as show me in pile one how this person is currently feeling about them at the time that they are coming across this reading thank you so what are their feelings right now towards pile one Oh, and then of course at the end we're going to be getting some advice too and then in the intro like i said we're it's mainly for you to really decide if you know based on this information if you feel like you should but like i said in the intro i'm probably going to put in my two cents as well too because i can't help it i'm just that's just how i am <laughs> but also because um you know i'm going to be seeing this information as well too so i'm going to be like i i feel like i can probably take a an educated guess on if you should or should not but also remember too it's always your choice so if i say you shouldn't uh, and you want to do it anyways if i say you should 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 yeah did i say should if i say you should then and you don't want to then hey i'm not telling you how to live your life because at the end of the day i'm not the one that's gonna tell this person it's you so you just do whatever you want to do guys <laughs> all right so we have a card out already so how is this person feeling right now towards pile one spirit what are their feelings at this time please thank you okay so we have the eight of swords we also have the magician How is this person feeling? I can already tell with this Eight of Swords and this Magician that this person is probably feeling kind of like you. Like, I feel like they do want to tell you how they feel, but they're all, they're like skeptical about it. I feel as though, actually, let's get some more cards before we go on. Cause I have Oracles. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do. And I kind of, I don't mean to be a little fast, but there's a lot I want to see in this reading. So let me just shut my mouth real fast. How is this person feeling towards pile one right now? What are their feelings in regards to pile one? We have the page of pentacles. And this image is really speaking to me through this card. It's like there's this 
obvious pentacle, which I'm kind of looking at is like an opportunity here. And it seems to be again, locked up and changed. So maybe they feel as though you're a little bit unavailable right now at this time, or they're just not able to have access to you in the way that they would like. And this could also be in regards to getting some sort of information, aka probably like how you're feeling right now or like what you are going to do. Because I do feel like, like I said before with this eight of swords, I really do feel, guys, that this person's probably thinking the same thing as you in regards to like, should I tell them? I don't know, you know, it, because the eight of swords is kind of like a, a lot of energy of like fearful, but it's also like in your head fearful. It's like you've overthought a situation to the point where you've kind of created these like imaginary obstacles in your head or these doubts and things like that. You know what I'm saying? It's all like mental energy, but it is about fear and and maybe like also holding yourself back here too. And then we have the magician, which is like, I want to, I know what I want. You know, let's make this happen. Let's do it. <laughs> that I always call that. So funny that I said, let's make this happen because I always call the magician to make it happen, Captain. I'm like, that is the, the guy that you would want to go to if you want to make something happen. Like, obviously, it's the card for like manifestations and, and personal power as well, too. But let's go ahead and get one more card and then we're going to pull some oracles, too. So how is this person currently feeling about... We have the King of Swords. Interesting. I want to get a clarifier for the King of Swords because I do feel like this King of Swords... It's interesting that the King of Swords is coming out, actually, because the King of Swords is somebody that is about truth. They are about integrity and they're about speaking their truth as well because it is, again, the sword suit. So I think... And I'm hearing making a plan. So maybe this person has been trying to think of a way to express themselves to you, to communicate to you, um, and also to make the best decision for themselves and obviously for you. But I feel like it's this is more of like themselves type of energy. Like obviously it would be like keeping themselves a little safe or like what's the best option that I can do right now at this time. Let's get one clarifier. What? Tell me about this King of Swords before we move on to the oracles to see how this person is currently feeling why is this king of swords here spirit they're not talking huh i'm just kidding <laughs> all right why is this king of swords here we have the king of pentacles okay this makes sense because when i was thinking of like staying safe like I feel like with the bottom of the deck we have the queen of wands as well too which is a, a card of attraction and desire and look at the queen is looking at these kings so maybe they're like I hope pile one is looking at me I hope pile one is interested in me still because the reason why I feel like this king of pentacles is here with this king of swords is because the king of pentacles is someone who's also very practical so this person's trying to stay sharp they're trying to stay like ahead of the game and also they're kind of trying to stay like you know maybe with the most practical sense here of like well I'm not going to step out of my safety zone or I'm not going to step out of my boundaries if I if I haven't seen anything you know to to show me you know basically it's like they're like okay I'm not going to trust my <laughs> intuition maybe at this time I'm just going to I'm just going to see what goes and maybe try to be like well you know like for example like if you and this person don't talk often you know they're going to be like well there's no point in telling pile one how I feel because um they don't even talk to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like a very practical kind of sense. Kind of just go what's in their environment is kind of like what they're going off of right now. And I feel like also the King of Pentacles is an energy of wanting to feel very secure in, in yourself. And also wanting to, you know, be very stable. So maybe that this person right now is feeling towards you that because we have the eight of swords here as well too it's like maybe right now they're not going to do anything that kind of makes them come out of their comfort zone but they're definitely thinking about it with the king of swords and with this page of pentacles i do feel like yeah like because when we go back to this page of pentacles it's like they may feel as though that you're kind of like off limits for whatever reason at this time or like i said they don't have access to you but i do feel like there is an attraction here so that's pretty oh and then we have temperance underneath yeah so like some patience maybe is needed here too all right, so let's go ahead and get, I want to get like maybe like one or two oracles just to see. I want to use this deck really to see this overall energy of how this person's feeling 
And then we'll probably move on to the other question. So what is this overall energy that this person is in when it comes to how this person is feeling towards pile one, please? That's a lot of cards. I'm going to put them back, but I am noting that the moth is on the top. So the moth is about like transformations as well, too. What's the overall energy that this person is in towards this connection? Oh, we have Phoenix coming out as well, too. And then look at, we have the mouse right here that I was kind of drawn to. So we do have a lot about like kind of transformations as well too, kind of stepping into the personal power, how this person's feeling. For some of you, because we have all this transformative energy, this could be someone from your past. Um, it, it doesn't have to be though, but I can definitely see like maybe this was a situation that obviously isn't where you want it to be or this person where, where you guys both want it to be. And so there's like a need to kind of transform, almost transcend what it was into something better better with this phoenix energy but the reason why i was pointed to this mouse energy is because this mouse energy is really reminding me of this eight of swords like very much overthinking to the point where you're kind of like so stuck on little details and or you're so you're like almost like having anxiety now about this situation like it's to the point where it's like you know, when you think of a mouse, kind of they're a little scared sometimes. They're a little timid at times as well, too. And I think that's in regards to this overthinking, this overanalyzing that this person has been doing when it comes to this. But for some reason, they do feel like you are very guarded, for sure, for sure. But there is this attraction, too. And I love, I, I don't know, I love how the Queen of Wands is, like, looking at, at this, like, directly. Because it's, like, basically telling me, like, I hope pile one's interested or this could be them feeling the attraction as well looking looking at you if that makes sense you know like they're looking at like okay what's gonna happen <laughs> we also have the camel and the cosmic egg and we have the beaver the camel is about resources as well too kind of endurance as well too so you know whatever obstacles i feel like are possibly in the way of you and this person i think what they're feeling right now is that you know they they can be overcome over is it overcome or overcame when you're using it like that anyways not important um but yeah so like they're they can be overcome but they're still like doubting too at the same time or okay i'm sorry let me rephrase that so basically what it was is like they want to overcome them they feel like they do have the endurance, but they're still kind of in this fearful mindset. I feel too strongly, guys, that this is about a lot of this anxiety and fear that's coming up is really about how you're feeling or like how you would respond. So that's why like when that card first came out, I was literally like, I wanted to laugh. I think I probably did. Sorry if I did. But, you know, I wanted to laugh and I wanted to be like, oh my gosh, like I feel like this person should be watching this reading <laughs> about you as well, too, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to get to how they would most likely react if you told them how you feel. So Spirit, can you please show me in Pile 1 how this person would most likely react if Pile 1 were to just come out and tell them how they're feeling about them, confess their feelings, tell them whatever it is that's on their mind really that they would like to share with this person. How would this person react? Thank you. Oh, I gotta, I feel like I have to clear my throat. So that could definitely be significant throat chakra. Okay, so we have the Hierophant coming at the bottom. Let's see what we got. We have Judgment. We also have the Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Cups. Look at, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is still locked up. And then the higher fun at the bottom of the deck, guys. And then we have the Page of Cups. Oh, I thought it was the Ace of Cups, but still. Okay, so this person is gonna wanna like lock you down. Lock it down for sure. I feel like if you were to confess to this person, if I could be quite honest, 
basically they would be like, all right, I don't want to let this go because the fact that we have judgment here as well, too, I feel like this would be a huge wake up call. A lot of the time judgment is like an awakening or it's like an aha moment or, or also it's also we have two cards that indicate truth as well, too. So this would bring this person some sort of clarity. And I feel like with that in mind then we have the ten of cups as well too so this person would feel really good about it if you did i feel as though this person would be open to receiving this in a very positive light and with the higher font here too the higher font can represent a long-term commitment and it can represent um also wanting to stay committed to something and being a little bit dedicated as well as maybe to learning how to do something better you know how to make this better i agree because the higher font is also about learning and lessons and things like that as well too so i feel like maybe with the judgment and the higher font together this person would almost be like okay i've kind of learned this lesson i've learned some sort of lesson in regards to this situation and now i kind of feel like i want to like secure this and i love how we had the king of pentacles and how they're feeling as well too like wanting to be secure and then the queen of pentacles imagery is literally like the queen i mean she doesn't look happy but also this is don't worry about that because this is the crybaby deck so i think i don't think she looks happy in any of them <laughs> she's constantly crying in in all of them but it's locked down and that that's that pentacle that was in that page of pentacle that was like that was off limits as well too and so with this page of cups too, it's a beautiful kind of curiosity type of energy. And I feel like with this page of cups coming out too, if you were to express your feelings to them, they would be surprised. Like, I feel like it would kind of come out of left field. Like they would be like, what? Because a lot of times I think of the page of cups as kind of like surprises. It's like that kind of, you know, that fish coming out of that cup, like, whoa, like, where did this come from? Where did you come from? And so I definitely see that, um, I think that this person would definitely, definitely. And then the Knight of Swords coming in the middle too. They would definitely want to express how they feel as well. Like they would tell you how they're feeling. And I, they would be pretty like cunning about it too, if that makes sense. Because the Knight of Swords is like, all right, like now I have this clarity. Because we have the Ace of Swords. So we're like, now I have this clarity. And now I'm going to, you know, take it and run with it because we have the one sword right here and then we have the knight of swords that is holding the sword now and they're like okay now that i have this i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna you know let's let's run with it and then we're, we have the ten of cups which is like all right i'm that makes me feel so much better that makes me feel very fulfilled and now i have my queen of pentacles regardless of what gender you are um so let's get a couple oracles to see anything else that maybe we may be missing but yeah i like i said this is for you to make your own decision but according to this pile i would say you know i would say it would be you're safe to go ahead and to tell this person how you feel in fact i think it would make this person feel better and of course like i said always trust your instincts trust your intuition depending on your situation it could be different you know like if maybe you're just watching this to see what would happen and you're like hell no i would not do that because <laughs> sometimes i feel like that happens like if we just see reading we're like hmm i just want to know how th how they would react <laughs> But yeah, my point to that was like, basically, if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel, man. I'm not here to persuade you any otherwise. I'm not here to tell you anything else. Ooh, we have honesty. So this is coming out too, to, to say like, all right, this person is going to be upfront and honest with you. And I think that you confessing your feelings or like telling them how you feel, they would really also appreciate the honesty. Because like I said, with this Ace of Swords, it's definitely giving them some sort of clarity here. It's like, and then with that judgment, it's definitely like, aha moment, like, all right, this is my wake up call. This is my one chance. Like, I don't um, want to F it up or I don't want to ruin it, you know? And then it says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect the truth from myself. There's an energy here for some of you that this person may be a little bit doubtful at first of your intentions, but I don't think that that's anything to worry about. I think that's just maybe a natural process that this person is going to go through, you know, of being like, oh, maybe this is too good to be true or like what's going on here or like, where did this come from? You know what I'm saying? I think that's something that's not, it's just kind of coming up maybe just, just because it's like, what would happen it's one of the details of probably like what would happen when you do this and that's the reading so i but it's nothing that i wouldn't like worry about or trip off of because i feel like this is something that it's going to obviously be overcome and and this person's going to be shown otherwise 
but yeah for the most part with that odyssey though it's like and then we have all of this swords and then and then remember in the house person feels with that king of swords that's definitely indication too that this person wants to express or tell you how they feel as well too they want to tell you the truth they want to be honest with you here as well okay so how else any more information i want to get a couple channeled messages too just a couple for this reading before we get the advice too so anything else about how this person would react if pile one told them how they felt so i do feel like yeah with all of the all of these cards this would if you told them how they felt it would definitely be an honest and open conversation you know it's not like i this person i don't think is going to be closed off you're not going to get ignored or anything like that I, this is definitely like a heart to heart here of openly expressing how this person's feeling and i think maybe the fact that if you were to express yourself regardless if you want to be the person to make the first move or not i know sometimes it's so annoying to always be the person to do that or or you know i i get it i get it but i feel like that in this situation in this case it would probably make this person feel a lot safer to open up which makes sense Okay, so anything else, please, about how this person would react? Any information we can give Pile 1 about how this person would react if they were to confess their feelings? Bottom of the deck, we have peace. I like that. I do like that. Okay, we have journey in reverse. So with journey in reverse, I think, okay, so the message that I got with that, I kind of sat with it for a second, um, is really like not knowing what's going to happen next, not knowing what's coming next, but still, you know, still thinking about it, still wondering as well. I feel like it's like, let me get one more card for that. Maybe with this peace at the bottom as well, too, it's like, okay, now I kind of feel a little bit peaceful about what's to come because maybe this person with this, you know, journey in reverse, it's like they feel as though that their journey has been kind of blocked for the most part. Oh, FYI, if you hear like banging and like really loud noises in the background, which I don't think you will because it's kind of far away. Um, I am, there is people that are doing like construction, like in my kitchen unfortunately this mercury retrograde has not been nice to me we've had a lot of technical difficulties we've even had a pipe burst in my kitchen i can't believe it but the show must go on um oh yes yeah, so we were talking about the journey reverse so sorry i don't know if you heard it but i kind of like it distracted me because it was like bang 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 i was like oh oops forgot about that okay so what can you tell me about this journey in reverse here spirit it's about how this person would react that's a lot of cards Ooh, so we have, oh, we have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So this is the heart chakra. Again, this is like opening up as well, too. We also have strategy and patience. Wow, that goes so perfectly with what I was thinking, too. With the strategy and patience, it's like, okay, well, you can't really plan how this, how everything is going to go, you know? And so it's like you kind of do just have to open your heart, have patience, and see what's to come in this journey. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of almost exactly what I said, so that makes sense. But, yeah, so I feel like, you know, it may – sometimes not everything is going to be perfect. Not everything's going to be – as well, the message is, like, not everything's going to be perfect. That You know, there is going to be ups and downs. It's not always smooth sailing. But I feel like for the most part, this person does have feelings for you with this four chakra archangel – um uh, Raphael as well as this is like a very heart opening energy and then we have the patience so it's like and then we have the temperance too which I think I said too I was like yeah I think this patience is going to be needed so maybe patience for this person to open up as well a little bit to come out of their shell um you know for for the most part and I think that's something that um is definitely going to happen like for sure they're going to be honest with you according to this rating you know they're going to be honest with you and then I just you know in time in due time things are probably progress is really what I'm seeing here. So let's get like one channeled message, one or two. I don't want to go too far into the channel messages in a reading like this, but, and then we're going to get the advice for you. Gosh. Oh, the first one popping out is, did you put a spell on me? Yeah, this person is definitely infatuated with you to say the least. Oops. And where did you come from? Wow. 
So I'm getting rid of this one. It's not, they don't, I, for the most part, it's not like, it, did you put a spell on me? I think this is coming more or less figuratively of like, because we have, where did you even come from? They're like, what the hell pile one? Like you just came in here. Now all of a sudden I have all of these feelings for you. And now I'm like infatuated, obsessed. <laughs> I mean, they could be obsessed. Bottom of the deck, we have, you are my soulmate. This is a sweet energy, guys. This is. Like, I whatever it is, like, this person is just, regardless of this is future energy, like, this could be for some of you. This could be the energy after you confess or after you guys kind of get this show on the road or whatever. It's like their, their feelings are going to be very strong for you. But I can tell in the beginning that they did have feelings for you already. Um that they were a little bit timid of, a little bit kind of holding back, it seemed, you know, for the most part because of that. But this is a very much, like, they really do hold you i feel like or will hold you because i feel like for the people watching it could be both ways but they do hold you a special place like you hold a special place in this person's heart or you will and i think this is you know they're they're like you know this person well they might think like that because the where did you come from because i was gonna say it like in in my point of view it's like they obviously you obviously didn't just meet this person by coincidence you know things like that and that's kind of that energy of like well where the hell did you even come from like this person seems a little like they weren't really ready for, <laughs> for a connection like this or at least to feel this way and then the journey reverse can also indicate that too like whoa this was not planned i did not plan on on feeling this way about you pile win and they're like what the heck <laughs> Okay, so on that note, let's go ahead and get some advice here with this little sassy deck. Sorry if the messages come out a little sassy today. I was feeling a little sassy today, too. Excuse me. All right, what advice do we have for Pile 1 on this situation, please? Get it. What advice here? Accept every part of you. You are light and dark, attractive and messy. Embrace it all. This is so cute for advice. This is really saying all those insecurities and all of those things in your head that you tell yourself are like, well, they won't like this or this, this, you know, th what if they see this or they're going to see me like this? Like first things first, it, you know, accepting these things yourself makes it first of all so much easier um and i'll talk about that in a second but i feel like this is all about you kind of really overcoming any kind of insecurity in this situation and really just going for it because you are worthy of love obviously like it says you're beautiful and attractive and all of those messy parts of us like honestly they build they make us who we are like they're really add our character to us you know it's like we wouldn't be us if it wasn't for that if everyone was so clean cut and perfect and looked the same and talked the same and everything like that then why what would even be the point that would be so pointless an example of this that that's coming up too is like for some reason i'm i'm hearing like okay so my my mom is the one who told me this but my mom likes um she thinks it's really cute to have like crooked teeth and most people with crooked teeth would be like oh my god i hate it i hate it but she she thinks she's like it adds character it adds like something to their face to where you can like you know remember it and, and whatever you know whatever she says or something like that but that's kind of like that e e example the reason why I'm, I'm using this as an example is because something that you could be really insecure of this other person could find so cute or, or like they could like it and so accepting those things in yourself is like the best thing too also what i was going to say before too one of the big things about um ex accepting the things that you don't like about yourself is that no one can hold them against you when you do like if some like if you accept like okay yeah i'm just using messy because it's on the card but if you're like yeah i am a little messy sometimes whatever like my mind gets scattered uh, blah 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 like it's okay and you're like you love yourself for it anyways so you're like it's okay it's me like i don't really have a problem with it then if someone comes to you and be like oh my god you're messy you wouldn't get offended as easily because you would be like i know it's okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's a, a lesson as well too with the self-acceptance okay let's get one more what advice do we have here for my beautiful pile ones what do they need to hear right now but yeah i kind of feel like putting in my two cents again obviously i think it's kind of obvious but and confessing your feelings to this person it, it seems i would say it's the green light like i would go ahead and do it if that's something you feel comfortable with of course
Now I have that green light song stuck in my head. That could be significant too, because now it's like, I want the, oh, for the green light, I want it. I think it's by like Lord. Stop sleeping so much. You are missing some cool stuff. Wake up. Okay, this card. Oh, and don't suffer from, this is so, <laughs> that's so backwards though, because it's like, you're missing too much stuff. And then this one talks about FOMO, fear of missing out. Like, uh, don't don't worry about fear of missing out and things like that um but this kind of does make sense to me in a weird way so we have stopped sleeping so much and i feel like this is if for some of you it could be in regards to maybe you are sleeping a lot and the only reason why I, it would say if that was the case it would say stop sleeping so much is because it may be affecting your mental health in a, in a negative way instead of like you know how sometimes when we take when something gets off balance like so we get too much rest and then we start not feeling our best and things like that that would be the only case i feel like that would come up but i feel like with this stop sleeping so much this is another meaning and it's what it's really oh my gosh can you guys hear that the banging anyways i feel like what it's really talking about here guys is like is like almost like wake up to your life like look at like look around look at all the beautiful things you know like stop and smell the roses listen to beautiful music do things that make you feel good and make you happy instead of kind of just sometimes we end up just going through our day going through the motions all right i gotta go to work okay we do this we, we end up in these habits and we just miss so many beautiful moments around us like one of the best things that i miss about like waking up really early and going to work which i hated waking up early and going to work i am such a i'm not a morning person but one of the things that i really appreciate now is is waking up and i get to enjoy that like golden hour of like that you know that that one like hour or so where the sun is just like so gorgeous it's so beautiful and it doesn't even look the same to me as at night it's the most beautiful part of the day you know what i'm saying that's kind of like the message that i'm feeling with that wake up like it, you, there's beauty around you right now as well too and don't miss out on it even though it says don't have a fear of missing out because it's like the the fear of missing out is the fear of missing out on things that aren't for you you know for the most part if something's not for you don't worry you're not missing out on anything this is more of like waking up in your average like day to day and this is more like in the in the bigger picture like don't worry about like that person that you didn't have a fling with or whatever because it wasn't for you you didn't miss out on anything you know what i'm saying it's like that's why i feel like those are kind of like two dual energies but they kind of did make sense to me um also too with this fear of missing out there was another message oh right here i feel like this was important focus on living your best life um and it says you aren't really missing out on anything else focus on your life and and you know the beauty that you have around you and what you can do around you don't really worry about what anyone else is doing you know at, at least at this time it's not really important for you i think it's time for you to really zone in and, and live your like it says live your best life i want you to live your best life pile one you deserve it all right so i think we're gonna wrap this up here I was going to get one more, but I'm like, no, I feel, I feel good about this. We have be sensitive, have more empathy and kindness. Compassion always wins. Oh, that's always good advice as well, too, to kind of be open and sensitive to sometimes we get wrapped up in our own problems that we forget that other people are just there. Other people are just like us, just in their own little world, having their own little problems as well, too. So maybe if that resonates for some of you um, towards the people that are really close to you, like around you right now, like maybe your family and things like that sometimes you don't know what people are going through that message could be coming out as well just for just to be like maybe more in tune more sensitive to to them maybe if someone's seemingly annoying you maybe they got something else going on whatever the case is sensitivity is always sometimes it's frowned upon in society but i do believe that it is a superpower especially for people for psychic people and impasse it, it is a superpower you can literally sense what's going on around you you can sense other people's things and they don't even have to tell you anything you know maybe you're like that as well too so also pay attention to to those messages that you are getting but yeah i am gonna wrap it up here for you pile one um i really hope this helped i really hope you got something out of it maybe at the very least you just got a little bit of entertainment i'm okay with that too whatever works <laughs> so thank you so much um if you like the reading and you want more go ahead and subscribe now so you don't forget and you don't miss out um even though we just talked about fomo fear of missing out you should have fear of missing out on my readings pile one because they're amazing i'm totally kidding but you can do whatever you want to do
<laughs> but yeah, I wanted to do a quick thank you as well too to anyone who supports the channel in any way, shape, or form. Whether that's just liking, whether that's commenting, uh, supporting other people, supporting me, whatever it is. Thank you so much. Even if you're just supporting from afar and just watching, you know, and you're supporting energetically. I still love you. Um, and I will see you guys at the next one, alright? Bye! Hi, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Amazonite Stone, or if you chose the New Moon Tarot, I almost forgot for a second, then this is your reading. Fun fact about the New Moon Tarot, I am actually filming this on a new moon. What a coincidence. This new moon could be significant for you in any way. It doesn't even have to be pertaining to this reading. I believe it is in Virgo, New Moon in Virgo as well. So, if you didn't hear in the intro, basically what we're going to be doing here is first things first, we're going to be seeing how this person is feeling right now based off the current energy towards you. And then we're going to be seeing how they would react if you did tell them how you really feel or confess your feelings or what, however you would like to say it, you know, when you tell them what it is, whatever you want to tell them, whatever it is that you have on your mind, how they would react, um, is going to be next. And then we're going to kind of make an, um, assessment. It's, like I said, in the intro, it's mainly for you to decide what it is that you want to do because it's your life, you know, and, um, I'll probably just put my two cents in just because it's a reading and I always do, <laughs> and, I, and I'm the reader. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and begin. So first things first, let's see how they are feeling about you. So I'm going to ask Spirit here to please tune me in to my pile two situation with this person here, and if you can please show me in pile two, what are their current feelings for them at this time that they are coming across this reading? How is this person feeling right now towards pile two? Thank you. All right, we have judgment coming out. And we have a card that flew. Oh my gosh, guys. This card, I have like the closet door next to me. It's like cracked open a little bit because I always forget to shut it all the way. It literally flew all the way in there and is like hiding. Like I can see it. It's like hiding right there in the closet. So I feel like that is significant in some way about this person's feeling. So let's go ahead and see what the card is though. We have the High Priestess. I think that this person is definitely suppressing, I feel, because when you think about it in the closet, a lot of times it's like skeletons in the closet or it's like secrets that we don't want to let out. But I do feel like this person is feeling very intuitively connected to you, intuitively drawn to you, probably thinks about you a lot and has dreams most likely about you just because the High Priestess is all the things, all these things unseen. So our thoughts, emotions, you know, dreams and, and very obviously a very spiritual type of energy. But the fact that it flew like in the only part in the closet and it was like, if I wish you guys could have saw it it was like leans like this against something and it was in the dark interesting okay so we have judgment and we have the high priestess coming out what else can you tell me about this person's feelings right now towards pile two we have the six of cups how is this person feeling towards pile two we have the four of pentacles Okay, let's get one more. How is this person feeling towards pile two? We have temperance. Oh my gosh, guys. And we have so much major arcana. Actually, bottom of the deck, we have the world, which is another major arcana. All right, so we have temperance interesting guys so we're gonna pull some oracles as well too but i'm gonna tell you what i feel like i'm seeing right now for some of you i do feel like you know you were you did have like some sort of past with this person just in the form of like for them to kind of be worried about maybe some actions that they've taken or something or maybe some things that they've done and the reason why i'm saying this is because the judgment card i feel like it's coming to me is almost like 
facing one's choices is what I'm hearing. So whatever that means, that could also be like maybe the choice to not do anything about this connection for some of you as well too. But facing the consequences of someone's choices here, I feel is kind of like how they're feeling right now when it comes to this. They still feel so drawn to you with this high priestess though. Um, but they, I just feel like because of the way that it flew out and the way that it landed again, they're kind of hiding it or probably trying to suppress it in some way, shape or form. Because the Six of Cups is also a card of past energy. It's also a card of like nostalgia. It's also a card of thinking about things of the past and, and also what, what it is that you can do. And you know, what's crazy is that I thought this was the Six of Pentacles when it came out. I don't know if it said if I said that too, but that could have just been my mistake. But now that it's the Six of Cups, yeah, this is definitely probably someone that you had some sort of a past with, or at least for the most part, like it's not someone completely brand new. Now, what I want to say about the Four of Pentacles is I do think that this person is holding on to a lot of things from the past as well. But I also feel like this person is trying to stay kind of guarded and safe at this time when it comes to their feelings, which is probably why we had that significant moment with that high priestess. I feel like this person's trying to protect whatever it is that they have, like their assets, as in like their feelings. Like they're, you know, I'm picturing the original or the writer, wait, I'm sorry, tarot version of the Four of Pentacles where the guy is literally holding on to everything and he's even and stepping on the pentacle on the ground and things like that and you know it's kind of like it, it's kind of making that person immobile when you think about it this person is holding on to things and they're not willing to let go they can't even get up and walk because they're like holding on so tight to something that they feel is either needed to be kept safe or it's something that they are just unwilling to allow to let go, allow to unfold, allow maybe the universe or trust the universe to let this, you know, go and, and see and see what kind of happens here. So I do feel like that is very significant to their feelings for you. And also there's a message here still of wanting, like I said, wanting to stay safe and protect like their protect themselves. So like kind of staying in their comfort zone as well too and then we have the temperance card which i feel right now is in regards to time i feel like they're like okay i'm just gonna give this some time i'm gonna try to have patience as much as possible and hopefully see what happens or whatever the case is or maybe they could also be feeling like they're wasting time as well too um that was a significant message coming through. I feel like that was kind of specific, though. I don't feel like that was for everybody. But yeah, it's like letting kind of things just pe like pass. Letting kind of something heal here is what I'm getting with this. So let's go ahead. Yeah, because we have the world, which could significant something ending as well, too, or a cycle. And seeing something in a different perspective is what I'm hearing with this world card as well, too. Kind of zooming out getting a chance to kind of zoom out and look at, at something differently. So this is probably this situation, this connection. So let's get some animal cards to see this person's overall energy right now when it comes to their feelings. See if we can get a little bit deeper and then we'll see um, how they would react if you were to tell them. So for some of you as well too, this person could wanna be like, you know, kind of staying in their safe place or kind of staying in their comfort zone due to past other past situations too like just maybe due to their past that could even be like childhood you know or past relationships whatever the case is you know sometimes when we get hurt now we're a little bit more guarded okay so what is this person's overall energy when it comes to their feelings for pile two we have the fish we also have the Cobra, which is interesting. Okay. We have the horse, we have the tarantula in reverse, and we have the bee. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the zebra. All right, all right. So let me tell you why this is so interesting to me, guys. Okay, so about their feelings, I feel like with this fish, talk about letting things flow. This is all about following your intuition and going where you feel like you you need to be going, maybe like going going with the current instead of going against it. And I do feel like this person, because of the way the high priestess did, this fish is, and we have the moon here, so I feel like this is like an intuitively guided fish. I do feel like this person is fighting against their intuition at this time. They're fighting against it. 
and I think that this fish is coming out because it's saying, you know, that there is a need for surrender. There is a need to try to just go with the flow. Fishes are also in water as well, too. So flow with their emotions. Um, they could be someone that it's a little bit emotionally closed off or at least not really good at, you know, the whole emotional kind of aspect of life in there. Um, still kind of suppressing. It's like a suppressing, but okay. The reason why I thought the cobra was so interesting is because cobras have this energy about them where you know how it's like up here, like you obviously just the way that the cobra is in this picture, right? They have this energy about them where they're really like, I, I the way that I can describe it myself is almost coming off as like kind of sly. Like when they are kind of up and like aware, you know, like they're kind of looking out for danger They're and they kind of nod like back and forth. What they're doing is they're staying like really quiet and staying really patient, but they're also waiting for that perfect time to strike. And that perfect time to strike is going to be like when the iron's hot, when you don't see it coming, you know, when, when the chance is available. And I feel like that's kind of very uh, much about this like fish energy too, like kind of just kind of going with the flow, but waiting for an opportunity, waiting for that chance to strike and waiting to let you know whether this is like, let you know how they feel or, or, or whatever it is that they're kind of waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when the chance is right. And that could definitely be with this temperance card as well too, which giving it time. We were talking about giving it time as well. Now, I feel like the tarantula card comes out when we do have to make a choice though. The tarantula card is when we are, this card is definitely about Dharma as well too. So it's like our life or our karmic path, where we're drawn to, where we're going and making important choices that are fated. And so it's going to need this person to really listen to their intuition as well too. And then we have the horse and we have the bee, which is really interesting about the horse too. We have the same moon with the fish right there on the third eye of the horse. So again, like there's a lot about listening to your intuition. You and this person are very, I feel very spiritually connected um, to say the least, intuitively connected probably to say the least. Like I said, this person may have dreams about you as well too. You may have dreams about them. Regardless, the horse is about action and freedom as well too. And I feel like it's almost like a, yeah, an energy here of like breaking free but really, like, this person is, like, knowing that they really need to just hold out and wait for a specific opportunity or specific time. Like, they don't want to rush in too fast, and they don't want to make any wrong moves, to say the least. And with this B here as well, too, this person could also be trying to keep busy. For the most part, they could be working or trying to work on some sort of, uh, you know, just day-to-day -day lives, you know, kind of thing. This could be like almost a, a tool for them to distract as well too, because the bee did kind of come in reverse. So it's like maybe using that as a tool to over overwork and like not really think. <laughs> that makes sense. And this is interesting energy for this, for this pile though. Huh. All right. So now that we have kind of how this person feels like a somewhat, I feel like it's still a little vague here compared to the other piles. It's still a little vague, but for the most part, I do feel like this person's like trying to ignore their urges, trying to ignore certain things and wait, like kind of just wait it out for right now. Maybe for some of you, they're even waiting for you to, to speak out or to respond as well. Actually, I'm not done yet. I want to get these oracles before because the next part we're going to do, I just want to get like one or two. So sorry, guys. Um, I want to get like one or two about how this person is feeling. And then the next one we're going to do right after this is how they are going to react or how they would most likely react to you if you were to tell them how they tell them how you feel. Sorry, got a little tongue tied there. So can you tell us anything else about? Okay, yeah. What? So, so we have indecision about how they're feeling. Bottom of the deck, we have purpose in reverse. And that is so telling to that tarantula and that like, that they're both kind of tarantula because I said, one, I said that was about like your dharma and your karmic path and also about making a decision. So what's really interesting though, is it says indecision and it says, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So again, more, uh, more or less of like not following this person's intuition. So it's causing confusion about how they feel. 
I do feel like there is resistance. Okay, so this is the clarification I needed. Okay, so this person is kind of waiting, I feel like, for an opportunity to address something with you or to reach out or to whatever it is, you know, with that cobra, like that striking energy, like, you know, kind of just wane. But they're also, the more they wait, they're kind of getting more confused. And I think it's getting a little bit clouded. But what they really need to do is just listen to their heart or listen to their intuition and and, and go where they're led with that fish. Because the fish, the fishes, it's hard for, you know, a fish to, str to swim upstream. I know fish do that. They can't do that. But you know what I'm saying? It's obviously a lot more work than to turn around and use the current as, uh, you know, as basically the fish's energy source and go where the fish is led. And so I think when this person stops resisting is when they are going to be listening to their intuition and they are going to be more guided towards what they feel they need to do. Hmm. I can't help but to think that you and this person have like some powerful energy here as well too. And what I mean by that is that this is like a very spiritual past spiritual connection. Um, or maybe it's just the energy that I'm tapping into, but yeah, like I said, a very powerful spiritual energy, very intuitively connected. Um, to say the least. All right, let's move on. So sorry. I do have a lot I want to cover here and, and I do tend to get distracted. So now I'm going to ask spirit here to please show me in pile two how this person would most likely respond or react when pile two tells them either how they're feeling or whatever it is that pile two would like to address with this person. How would they react? What would be their most likely reaction based off the current energy please thank you so how would they respond to pile two telling them we have the six of pentacles what is that <laughs> how would they respond we have strength We have the Page of Wands, as well as the Nine of Wands. Interesting. Bottom deck, we have the Tower. So I'm going to get a couple clarifiers here for you, and then we will see. So why is the Six of Pentacles here on how they would respond, please? We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the lovers with strength. Oh, by the way, if you guys hear like really big bangs, there's they're doing construction or there's like some work going on over there. So, so sorry. If you can hear it right now, that's exactly what I'm referring to. Okay, so why is this page of wands here, please? All right, why is this nine of wands here? Got it. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. That's a beautiful emperor card as well too and it also kind of reminds me of action because it's about it's like either leopard or cheetah prince which does does represent action so we have the nine of wands we have the king of wands we have the three of cups here with the page of wands okay 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 so the page of wands is definitely about optimistic op optimism and the three of cups is definitely about joy as well too so I do feel like this person would be very optimistic about this. I do feel like with the six of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles though, I feel definitely like this person would say, okay, I'm whatever you're willing to put in, I, I'm willing to put in too. Like this is about future energy and this is all about giving and receiving in an equal balance. Now we also have strength here and we have the lovers, which is really interesting. Oh, by the way, we also have... I, didn't, I don't think I did it for the Major Arcanas in the, in the first time, but we have Leo and Gemini energy with this. Um, that could be significant, but also doesn't have to be. So with this strength and this lovers here, I feel as though this is all about that making that correct choice as well too. And this person realizing that they need to be a lot stronger for this connection, um, whether that's mentally stronger or that's just like, okay, I have to put these issues to the side and I have to, you know, address this. I have to say how I feel. And I, I think there's a lot of heart energy with the 
lovers because the lovers card is the card of archangel raphael so i do feel like this is also about having some sort of like open opening up and, and having some sort of like heart to heart as well too so we have the nine of wands and we have the king of wands here too so i do feel like you know this person is like with the Nine of Wands and the King of Wands, I do feel like this person is going to be motivated to go the extra mile, to go the extra distance. It's almost as if with this Nine of Wands, this person is going to be like, all right, really realizing that, okay, like me and you have been through um, a lot and, you know, I, I'm not willing to kind of give up yet, even though you guys have probably had your fair share of obstacles and things like that with the Nine of Wands to the point where you may feel a little bit bruised, battered, tired, whatever the case is. You know, this per person does kind of want to push through. And the fact that we have the Emperor coming at the bottom of the deck, I do feel like this is this person realizing that maybe they need to make better choices or they need to step up. And I feel like be that person in your life that you may need them to be is going to be something that they're that they're realizing and it's going to I don't think it's going to be as easy as just a realization of course that takes work and, and and time and effort but I think this is like kind of that process that this person is going through that can also be within the strength as well too because with with this emperor I feel like this is a very divine masculine energy we also have that cheetah right there too which is a sign of masculine energy and with that being said I think this is about it doesn't matter about the gender or anything like that but this is about almost like I mean, I just keep feeling like stepping up to the plate and and maturing a, a big energy of maturing here is is something that is definitely going to be a realization that when it when you have this conversation or or, or if you do I'm sorry you know tell this person how they feel I feel like you know your 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 energy will get reciprocated with the six of pentacles it's not like you're going to get ignored or anything like that um, and then we have the 10 of pentacles too. So I feel like, yeah, this person is going to want to, there is some future energy building energy here that this person is going to want to do. Now, the only thing that I am a little bit curious of is this three of cups and this page of wands. For some of you, this could be a, a, a message and, and I am going to clarify it. And remember, guys, this is a general reading. So if you have no knowledge of this or anything like that, I don't think it would come up because I my intention is to never, like, upset anyone or, or cause fear or anything like this. But this could be this person in, in a... In, having someone else involved so but i feel like with the page of wands and the three of cups it would be like maybe this person started talking to somebody else like somebody new with this page of wands um i want to clarify it a little bit but also like I, in the beginning though for the most part like i said the page of wands is like an is an energy of like excitement it's an energy of like okay i'm curious to see where this goes and the three of cups is also part of of celebration so if that does not resonate for you d don't make it fit this person would definitely would be like happy you know but let's get one okay so this page of wands and this three of cups what is that the king of pentacles okay and the chariot i love that okay so bottom of the deck now we have the five of swords but i love that the chariot is coming out with the strength card right here as well too because basically the chariot strength comes right after the the chariot when you have motivation and desire to push through any obstacles to push through any situations and that's kind of what i was feeling with that nine of wands as well too so yeah this person is going to be willing and open to kind of push through um whatever has been holding you and this person back i feel as though you know they may have some boundaries up though um but don't we all <laughs> you know what i'm saying don't we all and then we have the king of pentacles which is really which is a, a really good sign here that i do feel like this is someone that is going to want to be a more stable figure in your life the king of pentacles is someone that you can definitely rely on and i think this may for some of you have a lot to do um with this conversation or this uh you telling them how you feel like you know can you be that person that i need you to be and i think that this so there is going to be um a lot of realizations and expressions and i am getting guided to remind you if you do if you do do this and reach out to this person 
um, be as honest and clear as possible with your intentions, with what you want. Basically, it would be like, don't let anything kind of sweep under the rug. Like, I feel like this is almost the per kind of person that needs to hear it from the horse's mouth, that needs to hear like what it is you want and what you're doing and, and things like that and of course you don't have to say that all at once like in one in one message but obviously when you um open up and you start expressing yourself like be honest with yourself uh be brave as well too to express yourself on how it is that you want and what it is that you want and don't let um don't let your mind kind of trick you into being like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that because I don't want to scare this person away. I think right now it's like it's, it's important for you to just express yourself truthfully and honestly the way that you would like to. So that's kind of the message there as well, too, because I feel like that's kind of like what this person is is kind of referring to like they're they're realizing maybe some of the things that you are saying, like that you've told them and they're like, OK, I see. But for the most part, I do feel like this is an energy of like, yes, let's do it. Let's push through. Um, an understanding. I feel like there's a mutual understanding here for the most part of what is needed. All right, let's get um, any more oracles. See if there's anything else we missed about maybe how this person would react if pile two were to express themselves service i feel good when i can help others oh i love that I, I this is very much like on the same page as well too especially with that six of pentacles it's like okay yeah i kind of want to give back to you i want to you know you help me i help you we can do this teamwork very much teamwork type of effort here we have deceit coming in reverse why is this deceit coming in reverse for uh could have to do with being open and honest as well too it is in reverse so maybe this is about putting pat deceits that have happened in the past putting these things that have troubled this connection or these obstacles maybe like kind of addressing them as well too and putting them in the past also i can't help to say that the deceit is coming right on that card so if that it was resonating for you the, that message earlier that could be about them opening up and and letting you know but let's see, what is this deceit card about, please, in reverse? Okay. Okay, so, like, we do have community again, which is, so we have discipline, denial, we have the magician and the mirror. I'm not going to set all these, but I am taking it. Okay, and then we have the thinking woman in reverse. All right, so this is really about ad addressing concerns, you know, fears. Maybe for some of you, the, this was something that was in the past. You know, this person was a little bit deceitful or whatever the case is. So this is really about getting what's on your mind or this person's mind out there and really just laying it all on the table. Like, look, this is what I feel like was going on or this is what happened or this is what I'm scared of, whatever, whatever it is like, you know, about being hurt. Maybe for some of you, this is like, I was really hurt in the past and I don't want that to happen again because we have the magician in the mirror. So this is a very bunch mirroring energy of like what it is that you see. So like, if you are feeling hurt, if you are feeling painful, knowing, just know that this connection is mirroring that back to you so you can literally address it whether that's just within yourself or, you know, whatever. And then I think with the denial in reverse, it's like, you know, it's no, it's no longer time to deny any of the things that are um, upsetting you or that have hurt you. You know, it's like, if you really want to do this, it's like, it's going to be like, you know, you just really got to do it. <laughs> I guess it's like the easiest way to say it. Like no BS type of, um, instance so yeah so it's like not no longer denying your your needs your wants and then with this community you know this could be about and discipline about this person really not letting um anyone or anything else get in the way of this connection and also you know facing their issues of maybe why they do the things that they do or why they make the choices that they make as well too like you know that you obviously deserve honesty and respect and and um Follow your intuition as well, too, is what I'm hearing for this conversation. If you do, you're going to need to listen to your intuition. What do you feel? Um, what do you feel is true and what do you feel is not? I do feel like this person is going to be open and honest with you. And I do feel like this person is going to express themselves um, to the most part. But like I said before, I was getting this energy of like, this is going to be a lot. This might be a little bit um, harder 
or easier said than done. I guess it would be a way to say that. Like it's easier said than done, but I'm not saying that nothing, I'm not saying anything's impossible or anything like that, but there's just some issues that need to be addressed here in order to either move on or to clear some sort of air here. So now I want to get just like one or two channeled messages from this person. Damn. Okay. So we'll just pull them all. <laughs> um, bottom of the deck though, we do have, you are my soulmate. I'm lying when I say I don't miss you or want you is a message coming out. I'm still salty and butt hurt. This is, I think, in referring to issues, whether that's both parties or not or whatever. Like there's still something for some of you that really needs to be addressed and brought to the surface so it can be healed and or else, you know, there or else you're going to be setting this up again on these uh, faulty foundations that are probably going to collapse at any, you know, point because these things weren't fixed or addressed in um excuse me let me it's about to fall over okay i love you more than words can explain let's make up so yeah this person is going to be open to whatever it is that you're willing to um express um i think that again this this is this is going to be something that is going to take maturity and obviously growth and with the strength card too, it, like I said, it may be something that doesn't come easy, but it can, it is possible. Of course it's possible. I would never say, say that it's not. I'm lying when I say I don't miss you is definitely, definitely that person, uh, ignoring their intuition <laughs> towards you though. Let's just be real. Like that whole closet thing. I forgot about that. That whole closet thing. Uh, yeah, they're definitely like either lying to themselves, lying to other people or lying to you or by just not telling you, but I think with you opening up, it's going to give them room and, com and, and comfort to open up as well too, though. With the strength and the lovers, it might be hard for this person to be really vulnerable. But hey, you know, the whole point of this conversation or the whole point of you expressing yourself is to see where the other person heads at as well too. And like I said before, you know, you're going to be listening to your intuition as well. So if you feel like this person isn't able to open up to you the way that you need to, then that's information for you i feel like this is also for you to like get information just as much information as it is for you to say information too if that makes sense but yeah this person may have a hard time okay so with this i love you more than words can explain this person may have a hard time expressing themselves i literally think we just said that or it's like maybe i think i said like opening up so patience with this person maybe on on how they express themselves is something that could be needed as well as on, like I said, making this person feel safe and open too. So maybe this is um, a, a reminder as well too. I'm not saying you would do this, but a reminder as well too. So just to be aware of like maybe how you're coming off only because you want the best information as possible. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying like, oh, watch your mouth or anything like that. No, I'm just saying like, make this person feel safe, make this person feel comfortable and they will tell you everything that they, you know, you need them to tell you. <laughs> um for the most part but yeah so i do feel like this person is would be excited about you reaching out and so this is one of those two guys where i'm really gonna leave this up to you about like yes or no and the other pile i was i was like i put in my two cents and i was like mm, you know i think that it's you should do this but with this one, I feel like it's different to each and every situation. Now having this information though, do what you please. And of course, we're going to get advice right now too. So I still might put in my two cents. I should never, never say never, you know, but I do feel this is really up to you. I mean, okay, let me just, let me just do it. Of course, I would say, you know, if this is something that you really feel drawn to and you really want to, and you feel like you need to express yourself, then I would say do it. I don't think that you have like a lot of things to lose, but I think that you, when I say do it, also be very aware and open and on what you feel can happen and what you feel can you can get out of this. Don't be naive. Don't be like, oh yeah, I just believe everything you say. You know what I'm saying? There's some energy here of like you listening to your intuition too. So that's my take on it. Um, also, I'm that type of friend that tells you to do anything. <laughs> just do it just so you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> unless like it's bad unless like it's hurtful or like this person was really messed up to you then i would then i would and i was your friend or that best friend i would probably say you deserve better just don't do that but at the end of the day it's your choice okay let's get some advice here 
what advice do we have here for my lovely pile two what can we tell pile two spirit advice right now what do they need to hear you miss them oh god Ooh, look at this relationships are complicated oh i love these messages for you uh, oh look at this one says reach out to people that have your back oh my gosh this literally says let them know how you feel though i think that may be a quinky dinky i mean not a quinky dinky like a sign you know we don't believe in coincidences but I'm, I'm saying that as in like that could be like a synchronicity for some of you too to just let them know how you feel but um so the first card we have is you miss them loss is really hard big hugs <sighs> it's okay to miss people that have hurt you it's okay to miss people that maybe you know aren't the best for you at, at certain times as well too and the reason why i'm saying this is because i don't want you to shame yourself or invalidate your feelings just because you feel like you shouldn't like maybe it, like the, for example like if someone did you dirty you're like well they did me dirty so i shouldn't miss them but you do though but you do and it's okay it's okay to feel those things it's okay to express yourself um emotionally it's okay to be vulnerable within yourself and to say like okay like i know that maybe i shouldn't want this person that doesn't make it the fact that you're not going to want this person you're not going to miss this person you know what i'm saying it's okay to feel these things and i do just want to give you a hug and i want you to know that um it, it will get better regardless of what happens because it always does even though you may not want to hear that right now or you may be not even wanting to feel that right now but i promise you it does and just know that i am sending you so much love and i'm sending you so much healing energy because i feel as though this is a pile that probably has been through a lot of obstacles and a lot of challenges especially when it comes to other people especially when it comes to relationships and when it comes to having high hopes putting your trust out there and it getting returned not so much in your favor at all and i know for a fact that that can hurt betrayals are the worst especially when it comes to people you love and especially when it comes to people you trust and that's why i love that this says you know relationships are complicated people will hurt you 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 will hurt other people keep your heart open anyways it, it, one of the one of the biggest problems that i see in these readings usually from the other parties though is that they let life make them cold or make them people that they don't normally like they wouldn't like on the inside you know what i'm saying uh you know or that runner energy we're very closed off and all of this is is a part natural part of these people's processes so i'm not saying that there's you know that they're bad or anything for that at all that's not what i'm saying all i'm saying is that that's kind of what happens though you know someone could for example, like someone could be in their first ever relationship, they get screwed over. Now, now they're like, F that. And they're like screwing other people over because of that. Cause they're like, that's how life works. So, you know, give it back. One of the most rarest, purest forms of, of souls are the people that get hurt and they still don't do that. They still don't go out and hurt other people. And if that's you, it makes me literally want to cry because I never want you to lose that light. I never want you to lose that beautiful love in your heart because you are the reason and you are the type of person that makes other people believe in in love like that because you carry that love with you. You literally show them that that love exists. And you should still believe in that type of love for yourself as well too because if it didn't exist in other people, it wouldn't exist in yourself as well too. Almost like that, you know, that energy of like, I know that the love that I'm looking for exists because I have it. And, you're, and trust me, you are not the only one who has it and you are probably going to come across people that will take advantage of it or people that won't be able to meet you as far as as you can love because of like the things that we were talking about you know people get closed off and things like that but like i said don't ever let it dim your light or close close your heart in any way shape or form because i do believe that you have a lot of love coming to you um and i do believe that it may be even a lesson here for you to keep your heart open and keep your heart open to receiving and keep that hopeful energy and i'm not saying like you know just go out tomorrow and be like i'm ready for love world <laughs> like that's not what i'm saying obviously go through your process and, and and whatever it is you know but it's just 
you're the beautiful light that people want to see in the world. So if you turn that light off, it, it just makes it harder for, for people to see it too. And I feel like you are like a being of service just energetically to other people. You really are. Like even just being around other people, I feel like you affect them in ways that you can't even see physically. And and so you are just, and, and you have a very special connection to spirit and spirit has a, I'm not saying spirit. Either, okay. So when I say this, it doesn't mean that spirit like doesn't hold anyone else to the same kind of love because spirit loves everyone unconditionally. But I think that your purpose here on earth or, or just your, your vibe here on earth, spirit is very fond of it to say the least. And I think you're being watched closely. You have a close eye on you pile two from spirit about your journey and about this situation and the love that you carry in your heart it's it has a purpose even if you can't see it yet interesting messages hmm all right i want to get one more and then i will send you on your merry little way oops of course that one more flies under my seat give me a second bottom of the deck we have get to know yourself be okay with being alone you're actually pretty cool i love that for you as well too ah i love this even more i can't believe i've <laughs> said that about it. i love that i love that well i freaking do okay so i'm gonna say it about every single one so we have you are perfect and there are always ways to improve both are true Self-acceptance is a huge, huge um, part of this as well, too. Accepting all parts of yourself. I feel like with that, was that a message earlier or was that another pile? I will just repeat it because I feel like it, it was in another pile. Um, one of the biggest things about the best things about self-acceptance, first of all, that's the first part of self-love is to know that you are, there's nothing wrong with you at all. Like you're so perfect just the way that you are. You're lovable just the way that you are. And you can still want to improve yourself as well, too. But don't let that stop you from accepting yourself and loving yourself right now in this moment because even with you know with the society telling us that we need to be like this or do this or other people shaming us whatever the case is you know what that's just their issues and and it's all projections from other people but you can love yourself right now and and just the way that you are it's okay to do that and it's okay to still want to improve we're all here to improve. We all need improvements and things like that. But the most important part is is knowing that you're amazing just as you are right now. Also, one of the things that um, I was going to say is with this self-acceptance is that when you accept the bad parts of yourself, it, it becomes almost, it, come, it becomes a lot harder for other people to make you feel bad about yourself too. Like, for example, um, I'll use the example that I used in the other pile because I think it said something about messiness. Like, for example, like, okay, if one of the things that you were shamed about when you were young or you shame yourself about is, you know, being a little messy, you know, sometimes we're a little scatterbrained or whatever. Hey, I have freaking, I have ADD, okay? I understand. I'm, I'm messy in all over the place. When you accept that thing about yourself, though, and go and you tell yourself, that's okay, though. Like, I like my messiness. I, you know, I understand it. It's not for anyone else to understand. I, I accept that in myself. I like that. Now, when someone else comes across and is like, ew, you're messy. Why are you so messy? It's not gonna hurt, like, as much, um, you know? It's not gonna really hurt because you're like, I know, I know I'm messy. It's cool. Okay, I've accepted it already. I don't need you to tell me. You know what I'm saying? And so that's, I think, an important lesson that the collective is kind of going through right now, too. And I'm only saying that because it came out uh, in the other pile. And it, this is saying get to know yourself. Like, you are the shit. I can feel the heart chakra energy right here. You do have so much love. It's crazy. And I, I just want to be like, protect protect pile two at all costs and i think that's why you are extra protected by spirit too as well too it's interesting but just know you're freaking amazing you're perfect just as you are you don't even need to heal or do anything to be loved and accepted you're you're okay and perfect just as you are and that's why i like that phrase perfectly imperfect because that goes that's like exactly what that's trying to say is that you you're perfect with your imperfections and there's nothing else you need to do to deserve love, to want love. Other people's issues are other people's issues. What they think is what they think, but you just know you're amazing. <laughs> I'm running out of like adjectives because I said perfect like a million times, but yeah, uh, I sending you love, sending you hugs. 
that's my hug for you and um i am gonna leave this reading here though so thank you so much if you uh, enjoyed it um but yeah i am gonna leave this really open to you open to your inter interpretation for the most part of what it is that you feel you should do um in this situation uh trust your gut you know you know this situation and you know yourself better than anyone else like I said, uh, you know, I, I would say like, yeah, just do it. Maybe just to do it. But also for some of you, I'm also now I'm feeling a no. Like I'm feeling like maybe it's time to just work on yourself as well too. Like maybe, but at the end of the day, do what you want to do. Don't shame yourself. There is no right or wrong answer. There is no, there's no right path. There's no wrong path. There's no yes. There's no no. It's just experiences experiences that you learn from experiences that you go through we go through experiences that we like and we learn okay let's do that again let's let's make that kind of choice again and then we go through experiences that aren't good that we hate <laughs> that we're like that was horrible and i never want to do that again that's where we learn you know okay maybe i won't choose that next time maybe i won't go down that route next time so there's again so there's lessons and beautiful things in each one is what i'm saying there's no wrong answer so I love you. You got this. Thank you for anyone who likes, comments, or supports this channel in any way, shape, or form too. And if you enjoy this reading and you would like more and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss another one, guys. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye! Hi, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the third eye tarot or if you chose this beautiful agate druzy heart then these are your messages. So if you missed it in the intro, basically what we're going to do here is we are first going to see how this person uh, is feeling towards you. And then we're going to see how this person would react if you did tell them uh, how you feel. And like I said, the reason why I want to do that is because those are the two things, the two biggest reasons, I guess, that um, most likely hold us back from expressing ourselves because we want to know these things. And also, this is for you to make the best guess with the information given. Um, I guess it's not a guess, the best choice with the information given, you know, because at the end of the day, it is your choice. Like, I will probably put, like I said, my two cents in there and see like maybe what I'm seeing what I'm feeling and stuff like that but you know with you having this information you're going to be able to you know make the best choice that you feel is right for you what you should and shouldn't do all right so let's go ahead and get into it so first things first I'm going to ask spirit here to please tune me into my pile three situation with this person and if you could please show me spirit how this person is feeling about pile three right now at the time that they are watching this thank you so what are their feelings right now towards pile three we have the seven of swords how are they feeling right now towards pile three I'm going to take the ones that flipped over. So we have the seven of swords. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the two of wands and we have the ace of pentacles. Okay. Let's get one more king of cups popping out too. Let's get one more card. How is this person feeling right now about pile three? Oh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. I love that. This person is attracted to you with the Queen of Wands. Always, every time that card comes out, it's it's attraction, whether that's magnetic or physical. A lot of times with the Queen of Wands, it is physical, though, because the Queen of Wands is hot. Let's just be real. Um, <laughs> but okay. So I feel as though this person sees, like, a, an opportunity here with you that they feel like, you know, is worth pursuing with this Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. The only thing is, though, this person does have, I believe, um, some trust issues here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this person does have some doubts kind of clouding. Now, this could be trust um, due to trusting their own feelings, trusting their, like, what they want, trusting their, you know, their intuition, and also this could be just, you know, fears of getting hurt, like fears that you're, I feel like this is like fears that you're on the, not on the same page as well too. They're basically like, okay, well, 
I'm not sure if I should follow this feeling because um, I have no idea how Pile 3 feels and, and they don't know if they can trust like what they're sensing, what they're feeling, maybe even what they've been given, you know? And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, <sighs> If I if we do do this, is it gonna work out? Or or I think it's not even just so much that, guys. I think it's really just like doubts, kind of with this, doubts that you may feel the same way, doubts that you would even like them, or whatever the case is. You know, I want to get some animal cards here to see their overall energy. But I do want to say though, with the Knight of Pentacles and how they're feeling about you, I feel like what they're they're kind of what they want to do is take a real practical approach with the Knight of Pentacles, and um, like I said, with this Ace of Pentacles, it's like if they were to have this opportunity because the ace of pentacles i love how it's someone like reaching out for this opportunity so whether they reached out or you reached out they would i feel like they would take it and roll with it with the knight of pentacles um although the knight of pentacles is a slow moving so maybe this person like in the future because we have the two of wands which is like okay but i can see a future here or i plan maybe this person has planned to reach out but they're just not moving at a speed that is ideal like they're taking their sweet sweet time with this with the knight of pentacles because look at even in this imagery of the two of wands it's like this person is seeing this you know map and they're like okay you know i i kind of see where this could go i should i should take this opportunity i should reach out and grab it on this end though they're like I don't know if I could trust this situation. Like maybe this person has gotten hurt in the past from other situations, from other connections, you know, and stuff like that, that never really worked out in their favor, but they still are like, all right. And they're definitely still attracted here. Underneath that though, we do have the tower, which I could not, I, sorry, I could not help but to, I, I can't ignore the tower kind of coming through underneath the queen of wands. This could be inciting some uncomfortability within this person and most likely some internal changes. Like when I when I looked at that tower card right now, I got this feeling of anxiety. So maybe this is going to cause this part for some internal shifts, if that makes sense. Now let's see a little bit more with these cards. What is the... I didn't even ask the question yet. <laughs> we do have the hummingbird though, which is a beautiful, joyful energy kind of coming through. Um, a little bit in reverse. I normally don't read these cards reverse, but I do feel like that energy was coming through reverse because it, a little bit blocking, maybe blocking some joy here. Maybe a little bit afraid of like letting it s see where it goes because hummingbirds are definitely, definitely representation of well, at least to me, like, of, like, happiness and joy. And also, oh, I'm also getting a message, too, with this person, that kind of trust issues, that uh, Hummingbird was coming out because maybe this is something that either they're kind of scared of, like, having and it flying away. You know how Hummingbirds are very, very fast? And, like, when you get a glimpse of them, usually it's only, unless they hover around you, of course, if there's, like, a feeder or something like that. But still, it's not as long as we probably would like to be because Hummingbirds are so cute and amazing. But you know what I'm saying? It's, like, there one second, gone the next. Maybe, like, afraid of, like, ha having this gone. Or how would you say that? Losing it. <laughs> kind of out of their control as well too okay so what is this person's overall energy when it comes to their feelings here for pile three please thank you what is the overall energy here for pile three i mean not for pile three but for the feelings about pile three oh we have the zebra which is interesting What, are their over what is the overall energy here towards pile three? We have the hyena. Okay. Let's get one more of these. What is the overall energy here towards pile three? Oh, we have the otter, which is a another symbol of joy and very cute playfulness and all the otters are like one of my favorite all-time animals i can sit there and i can like watch them for days like videos of them i don't it's it's weird but it's true i can they are so cute and playful and very loving as well too so i do feel like bottom of the deck of the dragonfly all right so 
I feel like with the zebra here, this person does want to be seen by you, maybe stand out a little bit more as well too. And I do feel like this person does want to bring in or at least is feeling some sort of very playful energy here. But I think that this person with the hyena, I think that this person may mask their feelings with humor, if I can be quite honest. Because when you think about a hyena, you think about the laughs. Almost a little sinister laughs too, huh? They laugh all creepy, huh? Anyways, um, this isn't a hyena slander. <laughs> It's just, it's just that I, you think about the hyena laugh. Now, I feel like this is almost like maybe this person feeling it before too, that you may not take them seriously. So I think what they're kind of doing is they're kind of laughing this situation off or playing it, not taking it so seriously so they don't get hurt. It, not saying that they don't take you seriously or that there's anything like they're not attracted to you or whatever the case is here. It's almost as if like they're not, you know, engulfing themselves so deep. They're kind of staying a little bit too lighthearted here because they're, they don't want to get hurt, if that makes sense. So it's like maybe with their feelings, they haven't really dove so, so deep yet, but they see the potential. Don't get me wrong. They can see the opportunity or at least maybe seeing and wanting to take an opportunity as well, too. But there is these doubts and these fears here, right here with this energy. And that could be why, like, you know, they're almost like maybe like. I don't, okay, I want to say this as respectfully as possible but with it, without it sounding like they're trying to disrespect you because I don't feel like they're not trying to disrespect you by like maybe playing it off as like a joke. But it's like, because it's not like they're literally playing it off as a joke. It's like that they're just not, they're like, okay, so like I'm kind of getting like the energy of like, oh yeah, me and, me and Pile 3, okay, for example, like they were like, oh yeah, me and Pile 3 would make a good couple, huh? Ha ha ha, you know, I'm just kidding, ha ha. But obviously there's truth in that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's that kind of energy of like, well, I'm not going to take it too seriously because that, it means that I would have to be vulnerable and get hurt, <laughs> possibly get hurt. But I think that's why we have this trust issue here too and these doubts. But with the zebra, nonetheless, I do, I do love that the zebra is coming out. I feel like the zebra is almost how they see you as well, too, as a very unique, someone who is different, someone who possibly stands out, but it's like, the, it's, you could be a very creative type of person as well, too, since it does represent creativity. But I do believe that this, they're like, this is a, a, a different situation from the rest. You know, it's like, it's like maybe their intuition is trying to tell them as well too that like you're not like the other people you're not like the others you're not like the otters <laughs> that was a pun but anyways uh, you're not like the other people but they still have these doubts and these fears so they're not getting too deep they're not taking it too serious but they see the potential and i feel like they w they would or they could so let's see now that's actually a really good uh, energy because that leaves me really curious to, I mean, an energy to leave off on because that makes me really curious, guys, on to because of that, like how they would react if you were to tell them how you feel. Like, would they take it seriously? Like, what would happen? I want to know now. I mean, I'm definitely invested in this. <laughs> All right, spirit. So now let's get into it. How would this person most likely react based off the current energy um, of the situation of pile three? How, how would they most likely react if pile three expressed their feelings or at least said it, whatever, whatever it is that pile three wants to get off their chest or would like to say to them? How would they react to it? So what would be their reaction if Pile 3 told them how they felt? How would they respond? What would be their response? So we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Cups coming in reverse. Interesting. I feel with this Five of Cups coming in reverse that this would kind of shift this person's perspective. Like if this person, this person was probably feeling a little bit like, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for to describe this? It's a, it's a word that I use every day in my vocabulary, not every day, but like, and I can't, it just, my mind is lost. It lost it now. Um, oh, okay. So they would be feeling a bit, thank you, spirit. 
So it said that they would be definitely be feeling a lot more optimistic if you express yourself. And I love that we have the Ace of Swords coming right after that because that is a card of literal clarity. Like, okay, now I have my clarity. So maybe if this person was looking at it too, like, of course, like the, like the glass kind of half empty, like we were kind of seeing that in the animal cards as well too, like not taking it too seriously because they probably didn't even believe it. They probably didn't believe that it could happen or even think like, you know, that that would be true. You know what I'm saying? And so with that being said, it would definitely make this person a lot more optimistic and have a lot more clarity here. So we have the two of pentacles. Let's see some more. So how would this person react or respond if pile three told them how they felt? We have the six of pentacles. Okay, so the six of pentacles is telling me that they may, you know, they may respond with the same type of energy. Like the six of pentacles is all about giving and receiving in, in in balance, you know? And so they may be like, okay, all right, I'm feeling it. <laughs> like, you know, like, oh yeah, I feel that way too. You know, with the six of pentacles, it's like you, you giving them that and they're like, all right, I'm taking what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're saying. Um, so let's see. I kind of, the only one I, oh, then we have the five of swords. Okay. So wait, I'm going to clarify a couple of these so we can get a, full broad picture of like how they would respond so why is this two of pentacles here let me clarify this two of pentacles i feel like this person okay wait actually i was gonna say i have inklings about this card i feel like but i don't want to speak too soon because some it might not be like what okay so why is this two of pentacles here sorry i had to like refocus my mind just went all over the place with that one okay so we have the emperor all right and why is this five of swords here let me clarify this five of swords So we have the Six of Swords in reverse, and we have the Knight of Swords. Interesting. What the heck? Okay, and then we have the Ace of Cups. So, if I can be quite honest with you from what I'm, from what I'm seeing, I do feel like, okay, and I don't want to, like, piss anyone off, but I do feel like this person would feel a, a better because they would feel like they have more of the power in, if you were to do that. Um, and I'm just being 100% honest here. Uh, and this is something that can happen naturally as well, too. And it's not like they're trying to overpower you or anything like that. It's like maybe they felt powerless before, okay? So they would feel as though that they have like a little bit more power and almost like the balls in their court. Like they have the opportunity to make the choice here. And, but with this five of swords and this six of swords and this nine of swords, this person, this, they may respond, um, at times again, that's kind of like those trust issues. I feel like they're, for whatever reason, this person could be a little bit argumentative with this six, this five of swords and this, this knight of swords and this six of swords in reverse, a little bit argumentative and a little bit hesitant because the six of swords in, in reverse would be like, okay, so now Maybe like in this case scenario, because sometimes it represents moving on, like moving on from a situation. But in this case scenario, I feel like it's moving more towards the destination, more towards peaceful waters. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you and this person had issues or had arguments about something before, this is kind of going to, they're going to want to bring that up again too, which could cause some friction here. And for others of you, I feel like with this five of swords here, it's like, almost maybe, I don't want to say playing mind games, but not wanting to say everything and be 100% vulnerable and say how they feel due to maybe safety issues. Because we did see that this person did have trust issues and things like that too. So I just feel like with this, it's like almost like this. Okay. So what's interesting too about that is that I'm seeing like the imagery of like a cat, like, and then like, it would be like you telling them how they feel and then say they're the cat and the cat at first is kind of like purring and you're petting the cat and it's going good. But then all of a sudden out of nowhere, the cat's like, rawr, rawr, and then like it curls up and it's like, rawr. 
So for whatever reason, it's going to, there may be some, some of that reaction, some sort of backlash, whether that is just in within this person internally too, like that could be causing it. Or for some of you, this could have been issues that you and this person were trying to deal with before some past issues and things like that, because the five, uh, it, it may be not moving past this, um, some incidents, some arguments. Like I said, I don't know if this person is a, is a little bit naturally argumentative, you know? But uh, yeah, and I feel like with this, but the, with the two of pentacles and the emperor though, I feel like that it, the, this is the heart of the reading. This is coming right in the middle. And I do feel like this is, oh, this is a motivational energy as well too, because the two of pentacles is also about choices, changes, and priorities. Is, those are, that's like the three big things that the two of pentacles is usually about choices, changes, and priorities. And I think that this is going to change this person's mind and, and also their priorities as well too. With the emperor as well too, is also about making those choices that you feel are best. And I feel like it's going to make this person feel safer because within this imagery, we have these, this tree that is deeply rooted. Okay. And so with that being said, I think it's like, you may shift this person's perspective in, in some sort of way here too. And they're going to be willing. They're going to be willing to work with you for sure, for sure. It's just, I want to read a little bit more into this too. Like with this Knight of Swords. Oh, I'm hearing that for a lot of you. You know exactly what this is. So I may not even need to re like read into it. I could, I could just be being nosy. But I'm hearing from Spirit Confirmation that you guys know almost exactly what this is and if you don't it is a general reading as well too so just take what resonates for the most part i would feel like just maybe follow this part of this reading and then um unless you know that this person is argumentative and they have a lot to say <laughs> that could cause some sort of like friction here but then again yeah guys you have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck here too so a, a new emotional start to this a new beginning as well here too let's just for curiosity's sake oh you know what get some oracles let's do what we were planning on doing yeah so we have the five of wands now just doing that so some conflict internal conflict this person could just be a little like i said they could be a little bit stubborn to say the least is kind of what i'm seeing a little bit feisty and at times argumentative and i'm not trying to bash this person in any way shape or form i am all of those things at times too <laughs> you know <laughs> nothing to, it's nothing to be ashamed of we have failure, endure to personal healing and happiness. So can you tell us more, please, about how this person would respond to pile three if they were to reach out? Ooh, door to value. Open up that door. That's like that ace of pentacles opportunity as well, too. They're like, yeah, thank you very much i feel like this would be definitely opening up a door to a lot of potential into it's, it's almost like it's giving me like this happy feeling i know it's money coming through so maybe for some of you this could be like a financial thing like how would you feel about like a business partnership or whatever they would be like yeah that's awesome you know but for most of you i am obviously i feel like it is a relationship but this is like this is like okay pile three sees me now there are the, everything that I was worried about is definitely starting to clear like all of those doubts and fears and this distrust like if you were to tell this person how you feel they would feel obviously very valuable and they would open up more because of that like a door literally opening up more bottom of the deck we have financial constraints as well too so for some reason money is a big theme here Even the Six of Pentacles can indicate, like, hmm, maybe for some of you this is a financial thing as well, too. But I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, I'm hearing the, the main message with that as well, too, is that, um, you know, again, like, you possibly giving, giving, whether that's your energy or your um, emotions to expressing yourself in any way, you know, is going to in return allow this person to want to do the same. Ooh, so we have goddess of the moon, which is all about your intuition. And then we have, it's basically the high priestess. Bottom of the deck is grief. As I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. 
interesting. So yeah, for some of you that you could have, um, this person feels like they could have lost out on this opportunity. So you expressing yourself would make them feel so much better. And honestly, like with that emperor card too, this could be about them like stepping up, reprioritizing themselves, making the correct decisions in order to, um, you know, go along with us to please this and you in this situation okay so we have goddess of the moon which is um basically the high priestess like we said this is all about following your intuition i feel like this is about you as well um and this person feeling very intuitively connected even maybe when you are separated as well too you definitely feel really in intuitive connected but also i feel like almost like maybe being on that same page and listening to your intuition as well too about the vibe and uh, about what you're getting and what it is that you should do Especially in a, in a situation like this, I feel like the, the High Priestess in the, has been coming out and also, like, obviously the Goddess of the Moon, which is, like, the same thing, has been coming out for you to, to you know, trust the vibe. Trust yourself as well, too. And I think this is also about, as well, too, this person seeing, wh wh if you were to do this, this person seeing their intuition was trying to, like, pull them towards you. And also, like, it's starting to make sense now, if that makes sense. Okay, and then we have honesty. So I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yeah, having some sort of honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation here is going to be very important. Um, it's something that I feel like is going to happen. That's why it's coming out. Like, this person is going to want to be um, honest with you and open. But I also feel like this is a message, too, for you, if you were to do this, to be 100% honest um, and open as well, too. Because then we have journey coming in reverse because this card usually comes as well when you don't know what's going to happen next. When you don't know like where it's going to lead. And sometimes we just don't know. You know, sometimes we don't know what's going to happen. Like you, you say you and this person reconcile or whatever. And you're like, well, you know, I don't know what the future holds for us. But I wanted to tell you how I felt. I wanted to tell you honestly how I feel. And we don't know what the future holds. But that's, you know, it, a risk that we're willing to take as well too, you know. Um, okay, there was a real specific message. So this isn't, this is not for everybody with this card. This is about taking it slow for somebody. Um, and if this person wants to move in very fast, please use your discernment on that as well too. take it slow. Okay. Don't rush into anything too fast. And that's a, just a specific message for some of, for, I don't know how many of you, but it was specific. So that's not for everybody. But yeah, so, um, but other than that, this journey in reverse is like, you know, you're, you, you're being led, but you may not know where you're going. And that's interesting that we have the high priestess coming up or the goddess of the moon. I'm sorry. Upright. Yeah. You don't really know a lot of the time what's going to happen, um, in the future, but you can be honest as honest as possible. And, and that makes it a little bit easier, especially when you're kind of worried about other people's intentions and things like that. Even being honest is also being vulnerable as well, too. So, like, honesty is more than just saying, like, okay, I, I don't want to hurt you. I won't I won't cheat on you or whatever the case is. You know, that's – even though you're being honest, sometimes it's kind of just, oh, this person's telling me what, we, what I want to hear. Being open and honest and vulnerable, though, would be, like, I understand that you have concerns – that I would cheat on you and things like that. But I want you to know, you know, that I wouldn't do that. But if you ever have doubts or fears, you know, I would like you to come to me and let me know before, before, you know, it starts stirring internally. You know what I'm saying? And before you kind of, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times we keep things to ourselves and then, but our actions kind of like, uh, are like, well, I'm going to pull back now. Cause I think this person's doing this instead of just honestly communicating, Hey, I got a feeling about this. What's go what's going on? You know what I'm saying? to the best of our abilities. It's not perfect. It's not, nothing's ever perfect, but it helps. So I think there's a message too of like this person kind of wanting to open up and being honest as well too. And, and I think the more you do, it's almost like, it's almost like you almost, if that were to happen, like maybe you almost kind of being the leader in this situation and starting it, not like, not like having to lead the whole way, but like starting it and it going, you know, it, it kind of opening up and going after that as well too. So on that note, let's go ahead and get a couple channel messages from this person just to see, just to see what are some channel messages from this person that pile three may need to hear right now. I'm holding back. Okay. Yeah. 
we kind of did see that in the beginning too about their feelings and stuff so what are some channel messages oopsie i think you're the one okay here's that money thing i'm broke right now and i'm insecure about it because we did see that financial we financial and at the bottom of the deck there was that what is it the financial restraints as well too this could be taking a blow on this person's self-esteem as well too especially with their value like if they don't have a lot going on right now and you still are interested in this person that is like i think a big boost to their self-esteem um because they're like well uh, you know pile three could be with somebody so much better that has so much better because they're putting their value on what they have physically as well too so um and also to to be aware um of course use your, your discernment as well too but don't let anyone take advantage of your generosity is a message specifically too that doesn't mean that this part a person's a bad person for like doing that or whatever you know what i'm saying but just be be mindful for some of you we have i want to marry you one day and then we also have i don't know how i feel bottom of here we have i don't know how to act around you and then we have i'm happy when i'm with you though okay i feel like this i don't know how i feel pile three if i can be quite honest is that this person isn't i feel like the good uh the type of person i'm trying to say that is going to just it, you know completely engulf themselves in their feelings and really investigate their feelings and stuff like that i think this is that hesitancy this is that like well i don't know how i feel even though this person may feel a type of way they're like i don't know how i feel because um may basically them saying or like or addressing within themselves I'm not, and this isn't even like saying out loud like addressing addressing within themselves is that i have all of these feelings for pile three is kind of something that they withhold and hold back from because that's scary and that's being vulnerable or that's like addressing issues that i think this person is normally used to kind of sweeping under the rug when it comes to internal feelings basically what i'm trying to say is that i think don't think this person is good at um or isn't really connected i would say to their emotional body at times they know how they feel of course in moments and they know how they feel about you but when it comes to just fully like immersing themselves in something in in their feelings that seems to be something that's really hard for them hmm but yeah, I think you're the one I want to marry you one day. This person does have strong feelings for you. Of course, we saw that they are holding back. And I feel like right now they're a little bit pessimistic about the situation. So if you were to, you know, express how you feel, they would switch that. They would feel a lot better. They would feel a lot more secure, more powerful. And I feel like with this two pentacles here, it's more or less of like, all right, now I need to take back control of my life. I need to reprioritize. You may even motivate this person in ways um to kind of get their stuff together you know so i am going to get some advice here for you i feel very tired i feel very drained and i don't know why why is that hmm I feel like there could be a lot of feelings um, within this person and maybe even you that are on that are spirit saying that there's a lot of feelings and emotions within this person that have not been addressed yet that are like subconsciously draining this person's energy for whatever reason. It's like pulling and pulling and pulling. It's weird. Because now I address that, I feel better. <laughs> I, I honestly really do. I'm like, now I feel better. So maybe, like, yeah, this, it's like this person like needing to like kind of address these things and they're tugging on them on them all right so let's go ahead and get some advice here for my beautiful lovely pile three spirit what advice do we have here for pile three fear equals feedback there is fear that keeps you safe and fear that holds you back learn the difference interesting the fear that I think this is talking about that keeps you safe is like that fight or flight instinct of like that fear of like, okay, we're literally in danger. Like, you know, the fear that you would see if you were camping and you see a giant bear, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like we're, we're probably in danger here. That's kind of the fear and it, the feedback of keeping you safe. But now it's time to address of like what is holding you back from 
saying what you want to say, what is holding you back. And this, I wish, that's so crazy, guys, because I wish I could tell this person that too. That's so funny because I'm like, this person needs to hear that. <laughs> so it's like, what is holding you back from uh, from saying what you want, from being 100% honest with your feelings, from saying it like it is? You know what I'm saying? Like, life is kind of short, guys. So sometimes we just got to do it. And and one of the biggest things too, and it's, and I'm not saying to not ever be fearful, but sometimes, you know, if it holds us back, it can be very limiting. And this can go for anything in your life too. This can go for like, you know, your, your dreams and aspirations to your relationships to anything, you know what I'm saying to maybe like bucket list type of energy too, you know what I'm saying? And so with that being said, either, you know, at least when you do things, you know, the outcome, like you get to experience the outcome, even if the outcome isn't, or is what you feared, that's still a better feeling to have than to have to hold regret for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's better to know the truth than to wonder what it, what it always could have been. And I think this is very telling advice as well for your answer. So I, you know, when it comes to making your answer on what it is that you should do, um, you know, I would say do whatever you feel you want to do and and don't let these fears and doubts hold you back of course there's always there's a million reasons always to not do something there truly is but there's there's reasons to do things that outweigh those reasons at the same time you know and that's like making excuses as well too if for like for yourself and this sounds so blunt but uh, excuses really only are only useful if we're just waiting around for for nothing to happen. Wait, if we're just gonna you know give our uh, our freedom up and just wait for life to to make choices for us. You know, sometimes we gotta do we gotta take life by the balls and just do it. <laughs> <sighs> also, too, your feed your fear is feedback too. Like also, uh, in, in in the same opposite way as well too. I think that your fears are trying to tell you something important about yourself. And also could be trying to tell you uh, something important about this relationship. And that's why I was like, or this connection. And I was like, that's why I was like, I wish I could tell this person that too. And hey, maybe you could, when you, if you do talk to this person, you can pass this on to them as well too. All of this information. Like, it's like, you know, if we stay, if we, if we don't let, if we don't just see, then we'll never know. It's better to have love and loss than to never have loved at all. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, just, I'm done. So sorry. <laughs> Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> all right, so what other advice do we have here? That's a lot of cards. I think someone got upset that I put some cards back in the advice. So you know what? If that person's watching, hey, I'm doing this for you. We're going to look at all of these cards today. No matter how long it takes. I'm just kidding. So bottom of the deck, we have pick up your crap. Want to be dirty? That's Oh, this is kind of a mean deck too. Sorry. But it's it, this is figuratively. So pick up your crap. Want to be dirty? That's on you. But don't make others clean your junk. Now, I know that sounds really rude. And it's okay. I've gotten this card before too. And I think when I got this card, I was like, excuse me. You know, but... Uh, I think this is almost like don't make just that the only message that I'm taking from that is like don't let others again make the choices for you do what you want to do 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 what you feel like you should do for you and that would be like giving this person power as well too also I'm hearing that maybe you know if you do want to do a little spring cleaning that's fine too even though we're in summer but are we in summer still? I guess it doesn't matter. This is a timeless reading. You could be watching this in the middle of winter. Who knows? But, um, you know, take care of yourself. Do what you got to do. Do 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 all the things that you've been avoiding. You know? I think that's the kind of message with that, too. Okay, so we have your brain is incredible. Keep learning how it works. Embrace your unique mind. You do have a unique mind. We saw that with the, with the zebra. I think... This is the pile with the zebra. You are unique. And the things that you may think that are weird about you or quirky, I think is are very much gifts or very beautiful. 
like I think that you would also learn to appreciate those things as well. Also, um, this, your brain is incredible. Key, you know, learn how your mind works. Learn when the doubt creeps in or learn when your ego creeps in or learn when your mind tries to play tricks on you and make you think that you're not capable of making the correct choices for yourself as well to learn about how you're like, learn about how your brain works so you can have that awareness and it doesn't control you and control your life anymore. For some of you with that, um, you know, that could be about why you've been feeling the way that you've been feeling and if you've been feeling a little down and depressed and everything like that. And if you have been feeling down and depressed, then just ignore that card because sometimes that just happens. And I accept you for who you are as a person. I think you're okay regardless of what, what habits you have and things like that too, you know? So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, except for maybe just the original message that we were talking about, but yeah. And then because look at, we have, you are perfect. Yeah, you are perfect. And there are always ways to improve. That was so perfect. There's always ways to be better. There's always stuff to do. There's always things to improve, but both of those things are true, but you're still perfect just as you are. Okay, so we have, they broke your heart. It hurts. It feels, that's why I feel like these are too many cards. We have, they broke your heart. It's awful. It hurts. You will get through it. I think this is for some of you. This is like past things too. This could have been this person for some of you. Just take how take it how it resonates. So what I mean by that is like if this is a fear, like a fear that they will break your heart. Just know that you're. If that's the case, you will get through it regardless. And then we have lighten up. So you don't need to have it all figured out right now. Be in the moment. Definitely that journey card in reverse. I love that these are synchronicities too. You know, um, you don't need to have have it all figured out. What's going to happen next? Things like that. It's okay to face the unknown. And that is where we do face a lot of our fears. So we also have feeling anxious or no, feeling down, anxious or overwhelmed reach out to the people that have your back let them know how you feel don't be afraid to express yourself i want to say for sure you having feelings problems is such a perfect human thing to do to the point where you are not a burden to anyone else and don't ever think that you are and even if someone else thinks that thinks that that's their problem like your issues are not a burden so if you do feel like sometimes you hold yourself back from reaching out for to friends family for advice this is a card that's really saying, like, let them know, like, how you feel. It's perfectly okay to feel how you feel and get some feedback. Feedback for, from trusted sources is always good, too. Like, so a trusted source, obviously, that you trust, that you can, um, you can tell your feelings or secrets, too, that you, you know, you know, they won't get told to someone else or anything like that, you know, and, and also opinions, some people that you respect as well, too. This, for some of you, this could even be a therapist, you know, s s things like that. This could be like someone that you hold highly in regards to as well, too. Don't be afraid to get feedback and advice. So we have, you need an affirmation. Say aloud, I trust myself. Repeat one million times. This is so perfect, too. Say out loud, I trust myself. I, I Like, I trust myself. I trust myself. I can trust myself. You definitely can trust yourself and you can trust your choices and, and, and what it is that you feel like you need to do or you want to do. And then the last one we have is, ironically, it's stop. Whatever you are thinking about doing, don't. Now isn't the time. So I, this isn't in regards to trusting yourself and stuff like that. I think this is like coming through. I'm hearing this stop, don't do it, is like, when you get those doubts, when you get those fears, when you get those anxieties, or when you start to gaslight yourself out of your own decisions, or you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, again, it goes back to like learning how your brain works. Like when you start to go down that route or that path, you know, in your mind or whatever, you know, that you know, isn't good for you. It's like, stop, don't do it. And also with this now wasn't the time. I feel like there's a message, a strong message here too of like you don't have to rush and make decisions right now. If you feel rushed, if you feel like you have to make a choice before the choice is made for you and, and stuff like that, you know, it's probably best to not make a decision. Uh, I always like that um, affirmation or, or that mantra that's like when you don't know what to do, do nothing. And the answer will come to you. You will find clarity. Don't worry. But yeah, don't rush and, and try to 
um, force anything because sometimes when we make decisions really fast out of fear, or out of, uh, you know, even fear of missing out or whatever the case is, sometimes we don't make the best de decision. That's not a good mindset for us to, or a place for us to make um, important decisions at too. So yeah, so and I love this lighten up as well too. I feel like it's like sometimes we just need a reminder too that it's not that serious. It's just life. Like we're all just trying the best that we can to get through this confusing world, you know, even like with these, sometimes I feel like that too. Like I want to tell people too, like, especially with these like readings and stuff, you know, it, if we just pull back, it's sometimes it's not that serious. And I need to tell this to myself a lot of the time too, but it's like, we're just living our silly little lives, doing our silly little things that really in, in, the grand scheme of things don't really make sense a lot of time like you know go to our silly little jobs watch our silly little readings and just do our you know <sighs> it's not that serious we should incorporate more joy into our lives and look at it from a, a perspective of like a light-hearted energy of like almost like a childlike perspective too of like well I could do this or I could do that or what happens with this oh that didn't work out oh well you know we'll just do this you know what I'm saying it's okay and it's also okay to make mistakes too don't I think sometimes too one of the it's our egos that really stop us from from doing things because our egos want us to stay safe and sometimes we need to check our own ego and be like look we can we can mess up it's okay like it, it's a part of our life but our egos, especially like, okay, I have a lot of Virgo placements. Okay, I'm a Virgo Sun and a Virgo Mercury. I am so incredibly like, oh, don't mess up. You can't, you know, and I've had to learn to allow myself to make mistakes, to not take things so seriously, to release control and all of these things that I feel like are relevant here. You know what I'm saying? So I, all I'm saying is I completely understand, but it's not the end of the world making a mistake or it's not the end of the world getting an outcome that we didn't want life will go on I promise you and one day we're all gonna die and no one's gonna remember any of us and then we won't even care and no one will care and <laughs> and people will still be living out their silly little lives on this earth doing their silly things caring way too much about their silly little problems yeah we're I feel like that's one of the things too is that I like to talk to uh, spirit and, and my ancestors and, and one of the biggest things that they communicate is that they we make things such a big deal that are that are so insignificant on the grand scheme of things and it's something that we can all remember and incorporate into our life that it's just life like we're all just doing the best we can there's no manuscript there's no certain set way of doing things we just do it however we feel okay <laughs> all right i'm gonna start stop uh, rambling on about that but i and i am gonna leave this here so um i basically this is up for you to decide i would say go for it you know if you want my two cents i would say let's do it do it you know you never know um, and also, but I would say do it with a, a curiosity type of mindset as in like, whatever happens, happens. It doesn't need to be a certain way. You know, it, you can't control anything else, but you just do it for you. Do it for you. If that's what you want to do. All right. So now I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you so much. If you stay till the end, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another one. And I will see you beautiful souls in the next reading. Thank you to anyone, um, by the way, too, who supports this channel anyway. That's liking, comment, shares their story. Um, even if you just support by watching from afar. Hey, I love you still. So uh, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you guys at the next Pick a Card. Bye.